Okay, everyone, welcome to the Forward Thinking Chiropractic Alliance YouTube page, channel, whatever you want to call it. Uh, please palpate that subscribe button. This video is about coronavirus and chiropractic. We got to kind of move fast because there's a lot to go through and uh, we don't want to make the video too long so that it can stay entertaining. What the heck are we talking about when we talk about coronavirus and chiropractic? Um, that's a great question. That's what we're covering. Um, they seemingly have nothing to do with each other because they kind of don't. Um, but chiropractors sure love to claim that they do. And that's nothing strange for chiropractors since the advent of social media. They have always sort of, or some of them have always sort of used social media to uh, perpetuate their personal beliefs on the public um, and disguise their business, their personal beliefs as business beliefs and vice versa. It's very hard to tell uh, when somebody in Cairo land is promoting their business and trying to get a face down on a table versus uh, talking about their personal beliefs about vaccines or things like that. But one thing that always happens whenever there's a pandemic or an outbreak or anything like that, sure enough, chiropractors are going to start putting stuff out on social media and start talking about uh, getting adjusted to boost your immune system. Uh, and if you look around at chiropractors pages, some chiropractors pages, Right now with the coronavirus outbreak, you will no doubt see lots of posts about boosting your immune system to fight the coronavirus, which is complete nonsense. That's not how this works. That's not how any of it works, but we're gonna break down why they got to that conclusion uh, in a little bit here. Now I'm not saying, I'm just saying chiropractic is not a cult, but sometimes it gets kind of culty. Uh, and there's a lot of Zoltan chiropractors out there and they just sort of follow the guru and they follow the herd. They don't really ask their own questions. They don't really look at the truth or the evidence available. They'll take uh, rudimentary surface truths as long as it applies to their belief systems and their biases, and they'll go with it. Because once again, a lot of times it's just about supporting chiropractic and getting faces down on tables. We call those people Team Cairo versus doing what's best for human beings, public health, and things like that. And I call those people Team People. So a lot of them are like lemmings, and you, I mean, I've only shown three here. By the, by the way, there's names on here. Uh, if you put this on your social media next to your name, you obviously want your name associated with it, so we're going to keep your names up. Um, I love when people do videos in cars. I think that's the greatest thing in the world, and I also love when they do 5,000 hashtags in their posts. That's one of the coolest things ever. It's super trendy. Um, but there's hundreds of these. You can find them. They're, they're just the lemmings. Um, well, Liam Schlubble is, is one of the gurus. Uh, and what these lemmings will do is they'll take kind of like what Schlubble says, and then they will just copy and paste it. If you read further down from this gentleman's post, uh, he just basically copy and pasted what Schlubble said and passed it on without any really inquisition. It's not based on fact. It's based on belief. And that belief is that selling chiropractic is the greatest thing in the world. That chiropractic can hit, can, these people still feel that chiropractic can ail all of man's uh, sicknesses, and, um, and there's always a roundabout way to explain why that happens, and that changes constantly too. But it happens with every pandemic. It even happened with Ebola, uh, and that's how I got caught up in all this. Okay, so next slide. Come on now. Next slide. Um, but some of them are worse than others, and we're going to break – two down here. We're going to break first down uh, Dr. Ben Lerner, Dr. Lynn Berner, whatever his name is, and his 10 important studies on chiropractic and resisting a virus. And then he sort of ties in the coronavirus because that's hot and that'll get some clicks. It's always, you got to get some clicks, you know? And uh, so we're, we got some clickbaity crap here, uh, but Ben Lerner's got a big audience, a big following. Uh, it's hard to sort of chink Ben Lerner's armor because so many people respect him. But so when, when he puts out nonsense it's like this, I don't know if he's uh, just being nefarious and lying to people, dishonest, or just plain dumb and doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. Uh, but he'll still put it out anyways because it'll get those clicks. And then the lemmings will share it all over and you will see it on your Facebook. And Ben Lerner's got 1,100 likes. FTCA's got 8,400. We're catching up. Uh, hopefully our voice gets louder than his soon enough. So 10 important studies on chiropractic and resisting a flu virus. Now remember these 10 important studies on chiropractic. And I'm not going to go through the article. It takes too long. Um, but let's go down to the references. So in the beginning, it starts with a reference to CORE in 1974 about spinal lesions. Now, 
remember, these are 10 important studies on chiropractic and chiropractors, particularly the Zoltan Lemming chiropractors believe that only chiropractors can provide the chiropractic benefit when PTs manipulate the spine, when osteopaths do osteopathic uh, manipulative therapy, that is not chiropractic. Only chiropractors can adjust subluxations of the spine. So only a chiropractor can deliver the chiropractic benefit. So we'll see that Lerner makes a lot of references here. The first reference, not a lot, he made 10. Uh, the first reference is to an osteopathic lecture. <laughs> uh, first and foremost, a lecture is not science, it's a lecture. Um, so it's not a scientific reference, even if it was in a journal somewhere, it's still not scientific evidence and it was osteopathic. So it's not chiropractic based on chiropractic terms. Next one, um, the, the Murray one, uh, that was, I only read cursor, cursor read of it, but it was mostly based on exercise. Um, I'll have to read through and see if there was any actual chiropractic manipulation going on there, but primarily, uh, it was based on dynamic exercise and not chiropractic. So it doesn't prove this point that uh, chiropractic resists the virus. Uh, next one. So we can go number three, number four, and number five are all osteopathic studies. So they have nothing to do with chiropractic whatsoever, right? Nothing to do with chiropractic. They're osteopathic studies and osteopathic journals. Nice try. Number six, uh, the Takeda study, that one's funny because he called vertebral deformities subluxation. So someone um, is twisting the words a little bit because when you read the study, vertebral deformities were actually vertebral deformities, deformities of the bone. They weren't minor misalignments to the articulation of the bone, which some people would call a subluxation. Uh, but, what, but we all know in real life, there's a medical term called subluxation and that's a partial dislocation either. That's neither here nor there, of course. The Felton study, uh, I got to admit, I did not read that one, um, but I'm pretty fairly confident, and I'll go back and read it and see, but I'm pretty fairly confident that that's not the smoking gun to prove uh, Lerner's point, because it's number seven on his list, and it's, uh, I'm sure it has nothing to do with uh, spinal chiropractic adjustments. Number eight's great. It's one of my favorites. Number eight, the PARO study, as they'll call it. You'll see tons and tons of, of chiropractors of the Zoltan type referencing PARO and, and saying things like you got to read the PARO study or the PARO study said this or that. There was no PARO study. There is no PARO study. A PARO study never existed. You will not find a PARO study. What you'll find is one little article that says medical researcher is excited. That's it. Like medical researcher, dude got excited. And uh, so a lot of chiropractors base their whole belief system and say that the evidence that, that confirms their belief system is this PARO study. But there isn't one that exists. This is garbage. It's nonsense. It was just a medic. Dude got excited. <laughs> and if you can even find what he got excited about, it has nothing to do with uh, proving any of this stuff. Yeah. So and it's pretty hard to find. The Brennan study is very interesting. So we're going to break that one down. So. Um, it's it enhanced uh, phagocytic cell respiration, respiratory bursts induced by spinal manipulation, potential role of substance P. All right. Okay. So what do we got at? Uh, from another article, which I'll get into in a second, uh, Morgan, uh, Lee Morgan, is it Lee Morgan? Lon Morgan. Uh, I had a comment in his paper, chiropractors often claim immune system benefits of chiropractic by citing a, the study by Brennan et al., which demonstrated increased respiratory bursts of PMNs. Following spinal manipulation, PMN bursting, however, is a common rapid body response to a number of potential outside events unrelated to spinal manipulation. What that means is exercise, dancing, stepping off a curb wrong, uh, getting a brisk hug, getting a massage, acupuncture, uh, you name it, your dog jumping up on you, all those things can cause PMN bursting. It wasn't the manipulation specifically. It is not the manipulation specifically that causes PMN bursting. However, yes, if you manipulate, you will get PMN bursting. But uh, if you wanted to charge someone $50 for a manipulation or to have a bunch of puppies jump on them, I bet they'll probably pay for the puppies. Um, so it's a correlation, not a causation issue. And it makes uh, Len Berner's comments completely nonsense. Uh, or at least his uh, support for his his claims. Number 10, the Solano study, this HIV study is fantastic. So there's a lot of chiropractors always cl also claim that immune system is boosted because there were HIV patients that were adjusted in it and it boosted their immune system. That was really, that's really funny because if you read the paper, uh, paper in air quotes I'm making there, 
Um, let's get into the methodology. So there were 22 patients selected for the study. That's not a lot. That's not a good number. Um, and, and then two patients, unfortunately, sadly expired during the study, so they couldn't be studied, and that's unfortunate, leaving two, 20 patients. Of those 20 patients, five moved away or stopped care, so that brought them down to 15. Of the 15, five other ones didn't even do the blood work or any of the other stuff that would include them in the study. So now we're down to 10. So it was a study of 10 patients. And those 10 patients were split into control group five and uh, study group five. And of course, because this study was about proving a technique that the technique was superior, of course, the people who received the technique uh, showed improvement over the control group. Um, but that doesn't because that's how these studies are designed to prove that my technique is better than yours. Um, but it wasn't compared to anything else. Like it wasn't compared to massage, acupuncture, having puppies jump on you, uh, dancing or any of those other things. So you don't know if it's just correlation or causation once again, or actually you don't even know if uh, it's specific benefit from the adjustment or just something happening to the body in general. And it doesn't prove jack squat, especially doesn't improve Lynn doesn't prove Lynn Berner's uh, assertions that chiropractic can save you from the latest pandemic, like the coronavirus. Clickbait, 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 shame on you. Uh, you are not high on my list of favorite people when you do that stuff. But who cares who's on my highest list of favorite people? This is all of us concerned, and this is what we tend to notice with these sort of uh, posts, as you'll see and when I get in this one, you'll see the bullet points, which are very, very solid public health pieces of advice. And then after that, they'll throw and get your spine adjusted. So this is worse. This is a public release from Life University. Life University trains healthcare providers to serve communities. Um, they were under guidance. They got guidance from Georgia Department of Public Health and the Centers for Disease Control. And they came up with these pieces of advice and the bullet points, wash your hands, avoid touching your face, all the good public health advice, avoid close contact with people that are sick, clean and disinfect things. But down underneath the bullets, then they add a, and get your spine adjusted and uh, regularly to get your spine checked and adjusted. Now there's some terminology there that we could break down that's psychological in nature, but we'll just go from here. Get your spine checked and adjusted regularly to ensure your nerve system is able to optimally adapt to these external stressors. Funny, I would, since it's not a bullet from the Georgia Department of Public Health or the CDC, I would wonder what those two entities would think about this being added to their, uh, their guidance that they offered. Um, and the irony that something this dumb comes from a quote unquote university that is practically neighbors with the CDC. <laughs> They're both in Atlanta. Um, it's just, it's, it's unreal. And here's the silly part. So the next part, university sponsored travel until further notice life university employees and students will not be permitted to travel to China, Iran, Italy, or South Korea. Let's go a line up. If getting your spine checked and adjusted regularly improves or ensures that your nervous system is able to optimally adapt to the external stressors, why do you care where these uh, students or employees travel? Uh, think back to our SpongeBob meme in the beginning. Isn't that, wouldn't all these adjustments make these people super SpongeBobs and they could travel wherever they want without fear of this virus infecting them? So they don't even believe the same tripe that they're trying to sell people. They don't even believe their own crap. And that's the truth of it all. And you know Len Berner's washing his hands, and you know Len Berner's getting his exercise and eating right. Um, and the, the saddest part about all this is when you get to the bottom, the message is from the Life University president, Rob Scott, DC, PhD, a freaking scientist, can't get away from the Zoltan chiropractic way of thinking and has to almost by peer pressure of the cult that's not a cult, he has to add this stuff because you've got to live by the sword and you've got to die by the sword. And uh, it's sad. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Um, so some key takeaways. If you're not a chiropractor and you're watching this, um, you know, this isn't, this isn't fodder for your canon. Don't weaponize this information. We're not all like this. Not, not even close to all chiropractors are like this. We're not one big homogenous group that all thinks the same and believes the same things. Uh, most of us are laughing at these people, but we're also very upset that they sell this to the public and they give us a bad name. 
But no, chiropractic will not boost your immune system to ward off coronavirus. Follow proper advice from reputable public health resources. Number two, for chiropractors, shame on you if you do this. <clears throat> shame on all of us. <clears throat> shame on Life University. Shame on the gurus that spread this stuff and the lemmings who just eat it like, like the tripe that it is and don't actually dis uh, uh, dissect the information to see if it's truthful or honest or not. Um, shame on you for only following your own personal biases and trying to fill up your own practices versus doing what's right for the public and for public health in general. Uh, that's not what we're in this profession for. Um, and shame on you for putting chiropractic ahead of people. And that's what you're doing when you do this. Further information, you can find great chiropractors at forwardthinkingchiro.com. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. And please take care of yourself, your family, and your community. Uh, and by the way, these chiropractors who do this, they're not, I don't believe they're nefarious at all. I, I think they actually believe this stuff. Um, and that might even be even more sad, but they're not trying to dupe people. They're not crooks. They're just, I don't know, they're just intellectual. I, I don't even know what I, they're, they're out of their damn minds. <laughs> they're out of their damn minds. They're just not thinking right. So. Um, that's all I got. Thanks.